Welcome to the Neo Marketing Podcast. I'm Pritch Pritchard, Partner and Chief Strategic Counsel for the Golding Group. Uh, across from me is Kyle Golding, CEO and Chief Strategic Idealist. Today we're going to talk about Neo Marketing. What does that term mean, Kyle? So Kyle, what exactly does the term Neo... You, you coined this term. What does neo-marketing mean to you? So I was trying to think of a way to describe how uh, using very modern tools and modern techniques, but traditional marketing, advertising, communication, public relations, at the heart of, of what we do, uh, and at the heart of what is working for people in the world today, using digital channels, social media, web, uh, et cetera, and integrating that with traditional print, TV, radio, et cetera. Uh, it's 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 a hybrid. It's a it's a new way of thinking about things, but it's not so radically different that you can't re- reference back to the classic traditional techniques that we've always used for a long time. So it's taking what the best aspects of very traditional marketing, and then the very best aspects of today's cutting edge digital tools and technology, and combining those two ideas together. Uh, and it wasn't so new that you couldn't call it marketing and it's not so traditional that you couldn't just call it marketing. So I was looking for something to kind of shake things up a little bit. Okay, cool. And by integration, you're talking about almost a a menu type situation where you pick the right tool for the job, for the right audience. Absolutely, and it's always specific to every client, the market that they're in, their audience, et cetera. You know, Um, there's no one size fits all in communications, that's for sure, especially today, uh, you know, we have social media channels, we have websites, we have social groups, we have all these things that are very niche. You know, it's not just Star Wars fans, it's Star Wars fans who like the first three films versus the, the new three films. Uh, you know, it's not just people who like cats, it's a specific type of cat who also <laughs> live in a regional area that they can get togethers and, and uh, you know, they, can, they do video conferencing, you know. So it's very specific as to what people are interested in these days yeah. that you can really drill down into, the, into these niches within niches, but uh, which gives you great control, but you have to understand how to do that and why to do that in order to make it effective uh, as a professional marketer. We hear a lot about traditional media going away. We hear an awful lot about the new tools and how public relations and marketing and advertising is going to put those things together. Do you ever see a day when we won't integrate traditional media? I don't think anymore. I think we're past that point. Uh, there's, uh, you know, there's going to be a time when print is going to come back, when TV is going to come back, when radio is going. Right now, this is a great example. Uh, this podcast is a great example of audio making a return. Right. But it's not the same reason that AM, FM radio came up uh, in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. It is slightly, you know, a lot of it had to do with transportation, people traveling and mm-hmm. things like that. A lot of people are listening to audio now passively. Someone right now is listening to this on a treadmill. Someone's listening on a train. Someone's listening in their car. Uh, and so that's the basic idea of what radio was initially. Uh, but it's a new way of doing it because we're also shooting video. There's also going to be, you know, uh, little clips that we put on the internet, social media. They found it via social media, etc. Right. So that's the integration. That's the combination. You can't just do radio like you used to do. Right. Even radio people are using social media and other tools to, to take that uh, content they're creating and putting it out in the world. So things will come and go. Trends will happen. Right. Uh, you know, habits will change. But at the end of the day, integration is still the key because you can't just do one thing. You have to do all the things in order to hit everyone where they where they live, if you will. Okay, quick question before we leave this session. Um, and I forgot what it was. You forgot your I question? I forgot my question. Well, it's that, ter- I haven't had enough coffee. I guess that means I've done a really good job of explaining what <laughs> neo-marketing is. You today. certainly have. Thanks, Well, Kyle. I have a question for you then. Since we covered neo-marketing, let's, let's, let's learn a little bit about Pritch. Uh, Pritch, what are you working on right now? Uh, right now, I'm, I'm, we're in the final throes of putting together a case study textbook uh, with colleagues at Old Dominion, uh, Georgetown, and West Virginia. Should be on the, uh, in the classrooms uh, by next fall. And uh, it's, been, it's, been a, it's been a really interesting journey, real treat. Is this your first textbook? Uh, no, this is actually my second textbook, third book overall. Right. First book was The Public Relations Firm with Stacy Smith 
of Jackson Jackson Wagner. And Great then, book. I love that book. I, uh, I partnered with my colleague at the University of Oklahoma, Jensen Moore, and we put together an intro to public relations textbook. Very nice. Excellent. I have to say, doing textbooks is not on my resume, that's for sure. Uh, better so you what than it, me. I'm, I'm too all over the place. I'm too scattered for that kind of stuff. I'm too in the, in the now. In the now. To create a textbook. Yeah. Well, it takes some patience for sure. <laughs> what are you up to, Kyle? Um, actually, uh, literally, thanks to LinkedIn, I was reminded it's my one-year anniversary of a tech startup that uh, I've been partnered in. Uh, it's called Vortex Training. It's long-term care facility, emergency response training. Uh, it's an online thing. If you're not in long-term healthcare, it really doesn't make much sense to you. But it's been an interesting project. It's very tech-heavy, and I'm am a tech guy, but I'm not a programmer, you know. Right. So um, I'm a tech enough to talk to programmers. Definitely not doing it myself. Um, been learning a lot about that process. Also, I don't I don't necessarily know anything about long-term healthcare, but my partner in that project is. So it's been an interesting learning curve. Uh, of course, every startup thinks you know. Day two, you make a million dollars. <laughs> right. uh, we're, we're 366 days in. We have not made a million dollars yet, <laughs> nor have we made very much money yet. But it's part of the process, and I love the process. It's, right. it's, I, I'm, I'm excited about the, uh, the jigsaw puzzle, you know, as, as solving the riddle of finding the audience, connecting with the audience, uh, giving them a, a tool, uh, and then as they use it, getting that feedback and making it making more it robust better. for what they do. Because yeah. again, I'm, I'm not an expert on this, so it's got to get in the field and kind of live a little bit, right. let the audience tell you what you want. You know, nothing's ever finished. And so uh, I love that process. I'm looking forward to doing more of that uh, in the future. And, but that's that's the thing that's front of mind for me right now, outside of podcasting with you every week. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> well, I think this was an awesome uh, five, seven, ten minutes, however we covered this week. I hope you guys got a little bit out of it, especially in what we're talking about about neo marketing and new ways of doing marketing with traditional techniques and tools. If you have questions, hit us in the comments below wherever you're listening to us. Hit us up online at the Golden Group uh, on Instagram and Golden Group on Twitter or also on Facebook and of course the website thegoldengroup.com. Until next week, see ya. Ciao.